Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, my name is Kat. Today we are doing day two of 12 Days of Puzzles. I'm quite excited for this puzzle. So this is a new brand that we have never done before, and it is called Professor Puzzles, and this is the Adorably Possum Festive Puzzle. So without further ado, let's get on with the time lapse. So what did we think about this puzzle? As the title says, it is absolutely possum festive. It is so cute, but I do have to say the image was quite boring. It definitely could have been more enjoyable to do. I didn't really like how the background was blurred out. I think that if it would have been an actual background, then I think it would have been more enjoyable, but I just felt like I was doing a photo of a puzzle and not really a painted or a cartoonized puzzle. So I definitely think they failed in that category. The dog is absolutely adorable though. How can you not like a puzzle with a dog? And I know that some people have commented on my videos in the past that the fur is really hard to do. So some people stay away from those types of puzzles. The fur really wasn't as texturized and as hard in this puzzle. It was just mainly like a normal puzzle piece so i definitely would say that if you want to do a fur puzzle pick this one up don't do the dog days by buffalo games that fur is quite hard to do this one was not so like i said if you want to do an animal puzzle i recommend picking up one like this as i was saying the image is blurred out in the background but the bottom and the dog are not blurred out so it was basically just a photo taken of a dog and then they put it on a puzzle it's really cute it just wasn't really our style that we tend to do their packaging is quite nice i really like how the back is it gives a little small intro about the puzzle and then what it contains and then the dimensions down here it has i think the date that it was produced which was 0820 that is quite cool and it was suitable for eight years plus i know that we picked this one up at target 
I'm not sure if they have other designs or other types of puzzles. I had never heard of this brand. This is the first time I'd ever heard of it. And it was quite a nice jigsaw puzzle to do. The pieces do stick very, very nice together. I felt very secure holding up this big piece of the puzzle and you're able to move them around. Even though that just fell, I shook it quite a lot. So just normal movement definitely won't bother these. Something that was very nice about this puzzle is you did know if a piece did not go in that spot. So that was very nice because a lot of brands have that problem. The pieces click in immediately as you push them in and you don't have to push them in very hard, which is extremely nice. The pieces are a little bit glossy, so keep that in mind if you're puzzling at night. They are a decent thickness. I think they're kind of not super thick. They're on the normal puzzle cardboard. Also keep in mind that there's no variation in shape with this brand. They're all just the same exact piece shape, just a normal um, two ends, two out puzzle pieces. So keep that in mind. There was quite a bit of puzzle dust for a 500 piece puzzle. So I was kind of shocked by that. Will we be doing this puzzle again? The answer is no, we are not going to. It just wasn't really our style of puzzle that we enjoy to do. I know there's a lot of people out there that like to do photo puzzles. I'm personally just not one of those people. I would rather do a painted or a cartoonized puzzle. That's just my likage. As I get older, it may change, but as for right now, it's just not my kind of cup of tea. Therefore, this one is already up on a Mercari. A Mercari is Ings1234. Go over there and buy this puzzle if you would like it. We also have a few other Christmas puzzles and a few non-Christmas puzzles up there that are ready for some new homes. On my puzzle hardness scale, I would only give this a three. And I think the reason why I'm giving it kind of low is because it is only a 500 piece puzzle. If this puzzle would have been a 1000 with all this red down here and the tree up here, I definitely think it would have been a lot harder and higher up on my scale, but it just wasn't hard enough to give it a high rating. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my future puzzle content and also my future 12 days of puzzle videos. We have so many more coming out for you guys. Also, make sure that you head over to our Instagram, which is Puzzling Through Life, and give that a follow. I have been posting some behind the scenes up there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my video tomorrow. Bye.